Hello, I'm Anastasia Kiara. I'm Jonathan Costa. And I'm Aiden Smith. This is the Neuroviver, an exoskeleton that, uh, that helps paralyzed people regain motion. Paralyzed people can't move because the signal sent by the brain can't, um, is not received by the rest of the body. This is normally due to damage in the spinal cord, which is the way for the signals uh, sent by the brain to be received in the body. Um, parts like the lungs and the heart uh, still uh, function because the se signal sent by the brain is uh, sent from the uppermost part of the spinal cord. The neurofiber is an exoskeleton which will be used for people with paralysis from the neck downwards and with a fully functioning brain. And the types of paralysis are multiple sclerosis and spinal cord injury. There are two to three million people in the EU with these types of paralysis. Um, and the exoskeleton will be used uh, permanently for these types of paralysis. Um, it will also be used for soldiers who have injuries from the neck downwards and uh, um, they will be used temporarily for rehabilitation. So a quick explanation on how this all works. Everyone knows the brain. I hope so. Um, <laughs> there are many different sections of the brain all covering different aspects of being human. But the ones we're interested in is this one, the primary and premotor cortex. This basically governs the motion of the human body and uh, it's what we need for our joints to move. What we've come up with is a headband that you wear which has electrodes on the bottom which catches electrical signals produced by the neurons when a command is sent. And this is so that we can send the signal to the motors of the suit so that we can move the joints even though there is no way to naturally for the neurons to naturally get to the to the joint this works because in the headband there is a small transmitter that sends a signal via bluetooth to a mobile application which decodes the signal to determine how strong the joint should move how much and sends the signal via Bluetooth again to the joints, which have uh, receivers plugged in with uh, local batteries, which move. So in the system, we opted not for a full body suit. This is so it will be more breathable. And also, if you opt to wear baggy clothes, you can actually wear it over the suit. Now, the motors we used over here at each and every main joint are stepper motors. We use this because the, it's easier for the rotations, because every step moves it by 1.8 degrees, degrees. And so it will be easier, plus it helps to control the strength, meaning if you need to move your hand very fast, you can, and if it's slower, you can also. So we need also further research in the actual decoding of the electrodes, the signals sent by the electrodes, because we also need to know what strength the motors need to move with. Because we know that the different signals mean different strength and the force with which the motor has to move. Also, we have the hands. So to reduce the amount of motors in the hand, we're going to opt for three only. And these fingers will be all working with the same motor. And we did this because after research, it has been found out that you can still achieve almost similar motion if you only use these two fingers, you use them as one. The marketing aspect of the new Viper is that it attracts more people since it uses an non-invasive system, not an invasive one, um, because an invasive one would have to go through drilling in the brain and putting the electrodes, which people probably won't be opting for. Um, and it is also cost competitive since, as Chanel said, we'd only have three motors since only three finger fingers would be connected to the motors. And uh, um, 3D printing would be used in the hand since it is cheaper 
and the material used will be aluminium and it is also cheaper than other materials. And the wireless system of the new reviver also makes it cheaper than having a big battery and instead smaller batteries will be used around the exoskeleton. Um, the exoskeleton will be used from children from 7, age 7 onwards since children, younger children, um, wouldn't have very developed brains and so the function wouldn't be as accurate. Um, there will be adjustable sizes for the exoskeleton and even stickers for maybe children because since they, maybe they would feel uncomfortable going around with an exoskeleton of the sort. And it will be promoted uh, using a website um, to clinics, hospitals and websites also cheaper than other methods. We're also going to opt for a localized battery with a promoter instead of the backpack battery and it, each one will have a receiver so they can interpret the signals from the mobile phone so that each motor will know exactly when it has to turn on and off. And this is where we've got to so far with our idea and we need further research to know how to interpret the electrical signals from the brain better, but that's it.